In this video, I'm going to take you through the first page of the section 4.1 review lesson. And after filling out these problems, please complete the other problems and check it online. Also, feel free to pause the video if I go too fast through a problem or rewind. Uh, the first problem I'm going to do is number two. It says, determine algebraically if the given point is a solution to the equation. Show all your work. And so this is only one line. It has two variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug this point in. 25 is y. 16 is x. We'll make 16, 16 over 1. Uh, a number that goes into 16 and into 4 is 4. 4 goes into 4 once and into 16 4 times. And we're left with 25 equals 4 plus 9. 25 equals 4 plus 9 is 13. And this is false. And we'll say that this is not a solution or a point for this line or equation. And so on a line, there are lots, in fact, infinitely many points. And there's also a lot or infinitely many points that are not on the line. And this point, 16, 25, is not on this line. You'll do the same thing for number one carefully and see if you end up getting a true or false verify or check. Uh, next, we're going to go down to number three. These problems say write each equation in the system in slope-intercept form. Compare the slopes to determine whether... The system has one solution, no solution, or infinite, and then complete the justification. So this is using that table that we filled out in the last lesson that took up a whole page. And so you might want to reference that. But even before we look at that, the first thing we need to do is get each one of these into slope-intercept form. So for line 1, we need to get the 6x to the other side. And since these are being added, we're going to subtract it. As we do that, we also want to make sure that these actually cancel to zero, which they do. And we're left with y equals negative 6x plus 8. And so that is our slope-intercept form. We'll go to line 2, and we'll do the same thing. For line 2, it's 3 times y. So we will do the inverse or opposite operation, which will be divide. And we'll carefully divide each one. 3 divided by 3 is 1, y. 18 divided by 3 is 6, x. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. And it is a negative divided by a positive, so this will be a negative. So if we look at the table from the last lesson, we see that um, we're kind of checking, is this one solution, no solution, or infinite? Infinite is the easiest check, but also please go back to the table to look at this. Infinite means that these are identical equations. So we know that it's not infinite. No solution is the next easy check. No solution is when they're parallel, and parallel means that the slopes are equal. Well, they're almost equal, but they're not. And so we're left with one solution, and one solution was when the slopes were different. And anything goes for the y-intercepts. So the system has, we now know, one solution. Because when both equations are written in slope-intercept form, we see the equations have different slopes, or m. If graphed, they, there would be one point of intersection. And we don't know where that point is without graphing, and we don't need to find it right now, but we know that there's going to be one point or one answer that will be an ordered pair x comma y. I'm going to do one more problem on this page, and then after that I would suggest doing the rest of the problems on this page, 
and then watching the next video for page two of the section review. Number four, same idea, maybe slightly different steps in isolating the variable. Uh, here's my y with a lot of stuff on the same side. So I can either start by moving the negative one third x or the negative two. I'll start with the negative two and line them up, my like terms. I have y minus one third x equals negative one plus two is one. And then I'm going to move the negative one third x by adding one third x to both sides. And I get y equals one third x plus one. So that's my slope intercept form. Then we'll go to line two. We'll move the x term because I can tell that I'm going to need to divide, but I always do that last. So I'm going to add the x term. 3y equals x plus negative 9 or x minus 9. You get a 3, you get a 3, you get a 3. y equals, and there's a 1 here, 1 third x plus negative 3 or minus 3. All right, so if we flip back to that table and also just think about our options, maybe starting with easiest and going to most difficult. The option of infinite solutions would be that these are exactly identical, so that's not the case. The option of no solution is that they're parallel, that they have the same m, which they do, and different b values, which they do. So we would say that this system has no solution because when both equations are written in slope-intercept form, we see that the equations have the same slopes, which is m, but different y-intercepts. If graphed, there would be zero points of intersection. And let's also add the note, these are parallel lines. You have one uh, other one of these to try as well as number one. And then feel free to go to video two. And again, I'll take you through some problems and I'll leave a couple for you to try.